Welcome back everyone, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me today to this new episode of Music with Nick. Today, we're gonna react to the Marcus King Band. And I just checked just to be sure um, if I've ever reacted to anything by them. And no, um, uh, we have not, I have not. Um, so this is gonna be completely new. Um, I When I loaded up the video, I did see how the band looks like but that's it i don't know what kind of music they play um nothing so this is called a uh, uh, thespian espi uh, espionage um from 2017 and this is um recorded in new york new york new york city paste studios so um and also i wanted to say real quick um this was sponsored by eric Eric from Queens and uh, I wanted to say thank you so much for sponsoring this video and uh, yeah um, I'm super excited to do this actually this was going to be a different reaction um, Eric had uh, requested originally something from King Crimson but as you guys know King Crimson is just very tough to to pull off on YouTube even reaction videos, which which I find kind of weird because there are some reactors who had King Crimson on watching a reaction video. So I think I find that a little bit, you know, uh, hypocritical by, um, I don't want to name the name, but I think you know who I'm talking about. But um, I just, but yeah, he doesn't like, he specifically, he doesn't like, um, people reacting to his music or I think it's just the the whole um, if you're gonna listen to my music do it somewhere where I get paid and uh, it's kind of weird because even on YouTube he does get paid you know but he just doesn't like people I guess um, reacting to his stuff I don't know honestly I'm not really sure but well you know um it's just the way it is it's just what it's a couple of bands are like this you know uh like honestly only like three four five six bands are like very like don't react to this stuff because you're gonna get in trouble so king crimson is one of them so and i thought maybe if we do a live version it's okay but um eric was like nah i really want an album version let's just go with something else so we're going with the marcus king band so i hope that's equally as good as king crimson i know king crimson is amazing uh we've reacted to a little bit you know and what we've heard was just like mind bending and uh we're gonna go soon uh, and, and see a uh, a band that is put together by the drummer of tool steve Vai, tony levin on the bass and um on the guitar we're gonna have a fellow king crimson uh, member, I think also Frank, Frank Zappa. Uh, it's called Beat. I just can't remember the name right now, but I've reacted to his stuff. Uh, and yes, that's going to be a lot of fun. But let, I just want to show you guys real quick if you can, uh, you know, get some tickets for Beat. Um, let's see, ban Beats Band. Um, give me a second. Supergroup tribute to 80s era King Crimson. And so and it consists of, uh, there it is, Adrian Ballou, Tony Levin, Steve Vai, and Danny Carey. So, yeah, it's going to be amazing. So if you can, you know, if you if you like that kind of music and you see them in your town or in your city, check them out. All right. Well, I guess, you know, since I didn't have anything prepared, you know, Eric didn't send me any kind of notes, which I love. Um, you know, I just go in completely blindly into the video. So let's check out, um, here the Marcus King Band Thespian Espionage from Pace Studios, New York, New York. Here we go. I hope you enjoy. If this is your first time watching a video of Nick and Lex, please do subscribe, leave a comment, like the video, dislike the video, you know, um, these are very unscripted. So like right now I went off script completely but hey you know that's the way i rolled so i hope you enjoy here we go and let's pull this up before i press uh, play here we go all right so i hope this looks great and here 
we go. Okay, we're gonna rewind the sax solo. Wow, this is so good. Um, I guess Eric knows me well, you know. This is right up my alley. This is the, that that's pretty much the music that I listen to uh by myself, you know. But now also Alexia's always been kind of like a jazz, uh, jazz fan, you know. This is I guess a, a little bit more fusion. Uh I love this room, man. It's so cool. You know how they're like, this is how we used to rehearse uh, in one of my friends' house because we didn't have any more space, you know, it's just a, barely the drum set. And then the thing is, they still have to be all there so the camera can see them, you know. Uh, what a player, what a guitar player, these chords. Um, and I love that you didn't spoil that it was jazz or fusion. Um, could have been anything, you know, um, but wow. Okay, first of all, the guitar player, amazing. I haven't heard the solo, but so so far, you know, his chords and just, um, I love his look and uh, the guitar. Keyboard player, amazing. Um, the drummer, just very simple setup, you know, just what, what you need for this kind of, uh, you know, jazz. And the bass player, he is like on point, man. He's driving this whole thing. And I love, you know, the sax and the trumpet. Um, so far, you know, just the fills, and now they're taking solos. Reminds me a little bit of, if I listen to it, like, as a rock band or a, as a rock, you know, um, project, then it reminds me, of course, like, Chicago, you know. Um, but no, this is, like, I think this is not really, like, a rock. This is jazz fusion. That's why it is that jazz with the rock element, it makes a jazz fusion. And 
I can't wait. Uh, let's see who, who takes solos, who doesn't, but let's enjoy just the rest. I just wanted to address how awesome this is. This is right up, you know, um, my alley. And, uh, man, what, what a cool setup. Um, I don't know. What is this? Are these like archives and film? Uh, no idea, but it looks awesome. Let's just keep going. So definitely, would we'll definitely be listening to more of this. This is great. Um, let's go. Uh, here we go.
Jesus Christ. Holy moly. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Insane. Um, this was amazing. Let me just see here. Um, Marcus King. Wow. What a player. Like, amazing improvisation, man. Just like, he didn't even look once. It's just there, you know. It's just in his soul. It's so cool. He reminds me of a a kid I know who's a little bit younger, who's also an amazing guitar player. Uh, but he's more into, like, metal. But also has an amazing talent. This guy just plays... With such ease, what a, wonder, what a wonderful discovery. Thank you so much, Eric. The way he improvised um, so, like, without overplaying, you know, it was all very original, you know. It wasn't a typical, like, I don't know. It was just very, he sounded literally like, you know, like, like a horn player would improvise, you know, that kind of, like, um... A language, you know, very, I don't know. I can't even explain it, but man, this was amazing. Um, I definitely, so let's see, let, let me look up some facts here for you guys. If you enjoyed this, of course. Um, so it's led by the guitarist, Marcus King, the guy we just saw. Does it say anything about Marcus King? Born 1996, so he's only 28 years old, and he can already play like that. That's am that's amazing. Um, like, especially jazz, you know, if he was a rock guitar player, I think rock is a little bit easier to, you know, to dominate the blues, but that kind of jazz is, it's very complex stuff he was playing. Um, it reminds me a lot of, like, Scott Henderson, stuff like that, you know, um, so, born in 1996, an American musician, singer, songwriter, and guitarist. He was initially known as the lead singer, guitarist, and founder of the Marcus King Band. His 2020 album, El Dorado, recorded under his own name, received a nomination for Best Americana Album at the 63rd Annual Grammy Awards. Imagine. So, let's see. Um... He was born in South Carolina. Uh, his father, Marvin King, was a well-known blues guitarist in South Carolina who also played gospel act. Um, and his grandfather was also a regionally popular musician. So this is like handed over this talent, you know, it's like just in the genes and then the, you know, in the blood. Marcus began playing guitar at a very early age, at the age of eight. He started playing shows with his father. Wow, that's, you can, you can see that. This guy's been playing forever. It's just like second nature for him, you know. Um, uh, there's some, you know, some guitar players start at 16, 17, 20. But when you start at this age, man, um, yeah. At the age of 11, he played guitar on one of his father's albums. King started playing music with his own band in his teens, juggling club gigs at night, school, at night and school in the morning as he as he and his bandmates brainstormed with what they uh, called soul-influenced psychedelic southern rock. Wow. Um, deciding to pursue a career in music, King dropped out of high school in his junior year and got his GED. King took an academic approach to music, studying his favorite guitar players, particularly the Allman Brothers Band, of course. Co-founder Dwayne Allman, B.B. King, Albert King, Waylon Jennings, he, he studied jazz theory and jazz performance with Steve Watson at the Fine Arts Center in Greenville, South Carolina. He received some notable early attention in 2014 after a video of him jamming at a Norman's guitar rack up millions of views on YouTube. Wow. Wow. What? Yeah. This guy is like a pro. Like, and he is like, it just he just looks very young because in this video, that was like, so so now he's 28. So he looks like in his early 20s, you know, like maybe like, yeah, 21, 22. Um, wow. Um, and all the other guys, you know, 
amazing musicianship here and just wonderful. Um, thank you so much, Eric. This was really a good surprise. Thank you. I, I hope this this man has an amazing career and and success. I love the labeled um um fantasy American recordings. Uh so the genre here was blues southern rock. It doesn't even say jazz, but let's see just like the band. The band um is also listed as blues southern rock. That is yeah, even though it's such a jazzy, you know, this was definitely, you know, like more fusion, I guess. But hey, you know, what do I know? This is amazing. Thank you so so much um Eric for for showing me this. Let me know um if you are familiar with the Marcus King band or Marcus himself. Um uh let me know, you know what what did you think? Uh what are your thoughts? Anything else you would like to recommend, you know, that you've seen? Uh and uh, yeah, let's get a conversation going. Thank you so much. I appreciate this. Um, you know, a new musician that I can look up, you know, um, maybe put in my bands in town. Uh, if he comes to Denver, we can go see him live, but something also to look out for on Spotify or, you know, I do buy CDs. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I know that's, you know, the best for these musicians, you know, the income, you know, because Spotify doesn't really leave a lot of money or YouTube. So yeah, uh, if you like this, support the artist, you know, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel for more videos of myself, or of course, Alexi and I together, which is all every day. Uh, a lot of people are like, where's Alexi? I never see it anymore. It's just you. There's always one video um, of us together at usually 10 o'clock in the morning, Mountain Standard Time. And so if you just want to watch us together, there are videos of us just together. But I also do these, you know, by myself because I have just more time uh, at home. You know, I don't have to commute and stuff. So not yet, at least, you know. So, yeah, I'm uh, I'm lucky. So, again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you. And I'll see you all in the next one.